Wait, is it dead? Who? Oh. Oh, fuck, my bad. Good job, dude. Zero deaths. One hit. One hit. Come on. <gasps> yes. Thank you. Wait, you actually got a purple? Are you serious? Oh my god, he got a purple. He got a fucking purple on the first raid. What the fuck? Open, open it, dude. Open it. I wanna, I wanna see what it is. It's like 500 mil. It's like 500 mil. That's not bad. Yeah. And we actually got a drop on the very first raid. What the hell? Fucking longer do we have to go with shit cunts that have zero KC. We can now get teams with people that actually know what they're doing. We've proven ourselves as worthy warriors. Let's have a look how much we got, man. 82 fucking mil, gimme. Finally, I think I probably broke even with the amount of deaths we've had. You guys should already know this, but Raids 2 has come into RuneScape. The Theater of Blood is what it's called. It's all based around the vampires, etc. I'm not going to go into detail because I know that a lot of people have already made videos. And if you don't know about that, then you've been living under a rock. I've really been enjoying myself at this boss. As you can see, it was a completely new thing to have to learn. Knowing the mechanics of all of the bosses running up to the final one. And then learning all of the phases. I'm not going to spoil anything, but god damn did we get lucky during this video, as you're about to find out. With that being said, guys, I'm going to let the live commentary play. And I hope you enjoy. No way, we actually got a purple again. Back to back. You died as well. Let's have a look. What'd you get? Oh, <laughs> fuck! Solo Mission is actually an Iron Man, and he's also a content creator. The link will be down in the description if you want to check him out. But he decided that he would keep the Defender for himself on his Iron Man, which is a very ballsy thing to do, considering it was around about 410 mil at the time. I'm just throwing it out there. That thing is not worth that much money. I don't think I'd give over 50 mil for it. But hey, we managed to get ourselves a nice juicy split, so no complaints. Someone has to tank. Full health, guys. Alright, one person down. We got we got this. Do not get hit by the purple. We got this. We got it. We got it. We got it. Good job, boys. Oh, uh, The first no purple raid. Feels bad, man. I don't think I died that entire raid. I got 300k loot. It's almost dead. One hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. It's... We got it. Thank God. Oh, that was so close. No purple chest, sadly, but well done, guys. Well done. Hey, blood vials. Nice. Good job, dude. Zero deaths. On my end, zero deaths. You guys are fucking casuals. Purple chest! We got a purple chest! Yes! Yes! Rapier! No way! No fucking way! Dude, show me. That's fucking insane. Let me, let me see it in trade, Hokey. That is actually amazing, man. Let me see this thing. Oh, dude. Hurry up and sell it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool looking, man. Okay, I'm gonna throw it in. I'll throw it in for max cash. And then slowly, slowly bring it down. So at this point, it was around about three days into Raids 2 being released. And unfortunately, the rapier for the first two days was going for about four to five bill street price. By the time we managed to get our own, it actually dropped quite significantly. And I was only able to sell it for one bill, 450 mil. And I say only, but still, that is a shit ton of money, especially for an item which is going to plummet in the coming weeks. We all ended up walking away with 290 mil cash each as our splits, which for the fifth raid, I'm not complaining. That is bigger than a Twisted Bow split. No complaints on my end. Incredibly happy to receive it. Oh my god, this literally looks like a... Look at your name as well. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, we all got to... Dude... <laughs> if I get vans because of this, I'm going to be so pissed. Yeah, this is the shit. I think this is the boss that we designed when I was at Jagex. Because we set, we set about a bat, and you're supposed to run on blood. And if you don't get the blood, it gives him more health and defense. And that's basically what this boss is. Apart from it's not blood, it's whatever this is. Yeah, it was literally my idea. I pitched it. It's fucking horrible, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's like in second faults. This is shit. Everyone, we're going to dump specs real soon, okay? Uh, just we'll, we'll wait until the blue things come, but it's literally now. There we go. All right, so dump them as fast as you can. 
Nice and relaxed. That's what I like to see, boys. I'll run straight into a web, dude. But nah, no purple, boys. I had zero deaths that raid. That was good. The thing is, this guy... I don't know if this guy's wearing it because he thinks it's cool or if he's wearing it because he's trying to sell it. I hope it's the second. Why would you hang on to that? It's hideous. Raids runs like a dragon. I, you know, and then the main weapon you get from it is a range weapon. And it's range orientated. Raids 2, I'd say, is a bit of a mixture of everything. But with the final boss, it's melee or orientated. Plus, you got a lot of melee weapons. For the third raid they bring out, they should do like a C1. And like you could fight, you could fight bosses like fucking Medusa and shit that freeze you in place, and someone has to go round and like unfreeze you maybe. And like you get some like badass staff that's really good against the final boss. Good job. Hopefully we get a purple. Yeah, we got loads. Of oh my god, look at all the supplies we got. Jesus Christ. Oh man, that was another zero death as well. Come on. Good job. Good job, lads. Yes, please. That was good. Oh, feels bad. That was so close. 10 raids, nice. No purple again. Overall, I would say that I actually really enjoy the Theater of Blood. It may just be to do with the fact that it's new content, so obviously it's not born at this point. I do see a few small flaws in it though, however, such as it being the same six bosses every single raid you do. To me, coming from other games such as World of Warcraft, I'd say the Theater of Blood kind of reminds me and comes off across as more of a dungeon than what it does an actual raid i don't think it's big enough to be classified as a raid but then again they are separate games in terms of boss mechanics and also teamwork this is spot on if that's what they were going for if they were trying to make a boss which is completely team orientated and you have to work together to be able to get the kills then yeah they did a really good job and they hit the mark with this however it wasn't this wasn't supposed to be just a complete five-man raid. Originally, they wanted it so that smaller teams were able to kill this and complete it, such as Freemans. Now, they have addressed this, and they said what they're going to do is drop all of the current bosses down to 75% of what they currently are. I'm pretty happy with that, and I also feel like the less people that are in your team, although you have a smaller chance of receiving a loot, you're also less likely to die or somebody on your team die and let everybody else down. Onto the rewards. I quite like the look of the rewards. To be honest with you, the more I think about it, the fact that they've brought in Justice Armor, and for those of you that don't know, it has a set defense bonus, and it is the most tanky gear in game. Although I don't see it being best in slot for pretty much anything that is currently in old Screenscape, I think what it will probably do is it will allow people to be more open-minded in the future for them bringing out strength armor. Comparable and very similar to armors such as Vesta, which was the old school PvP armor back in the day. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying for them to bring those armors into the game. In fact, I am against them just recycling old content and putting it into the current game. But what I am saying is hopefully this will make people more open-minded that now we have this Justicar armor, which has a hell of a lot of defense and it has a set bonus, people might be more willing and more open to the idea of having some sort of glass cannon armor where it has a lot of offensive, so a lot of strength bonus, but it doesn't have so much defense. Regardless, I'm happy with the new armors that they've brought out and it will be interesting to see what they do in the future. Now, regarding the weapons, I am pretty happy with them, although I do feel like there is going to be some controversy around the scythe. It is one of the first melee weapons that has come into the game, which has a very different effect to anything that we currently have. The only other item which is comparable to the scythe currently, I would say, is the Dragon 200 special attack, which obviously you can only use when you have special attack, whereas the scythe, you do have to charge it on one hand, but it can also attack multiple enemies at the same time. I don't see it being particularly OP anywhere, although I have seen that it is very useful to use in Raids 2, which personally, I'm a very big fan of. I think it's only fitting that the Scythe is the best in slot when it comes to the final boss and various bosses within Raids 2, similar to how the Twisted Bow is basically the best in slot for most of the bosses in Raids 1, and definitely the best in slot for the final boss. I have no problem with the scythe, 
but I would like to hear your opinions and feedback on what you think of it. In terms of the other weapons, being the rapier, the staff, and also the defender upgrades, I'd say they're fairly balanced. I don't have a problem with any of the items. I really like the defender upgrade. I really like the rapier, although I don't see it having that many more uses than the abyssal tentacle, so I don't think it's worth the current price that it holds. You guys know my opinion on the staff. I personally think visually it needs an upgrade. It needs to be changed. Not a fan of that one, but overall, I would say all of the items and rewards that have been given from Raids 2 seem to be fairly balanced and well thought out. Anyways, guys, that is going to conclude today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. For those of you that were curious how much money I've made in the past few days from Raids, I've done a grand total of 12 completions at Raids 2, and I've made a whopping 450 mil roughly in those 12 chests. Now, with that being said, guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I will see you very soon.